eyes, take a look at me. Get the picture fixed in your memory. I'm driven by the rhythm like the beat of a heart. And I won't stop until I start to stand out. Welcome to Get Owen Janko Wednesdays a Lunch Burger, Burger Edition. edition. Uh, this week, we went to a, a, a new restaurant, just yeah. opened a couple weeks ago, um, at the corner of Notre Dame and Atwater in St. Henry. It's foie gras. What? Foie gras. I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're saying. It's not even a word. It's foie gras, uh, but spelt wrong. Um, hmm. I actually stumbled across the origin of the name uh, today on the internet when I was looking at their menu. It was because they uh, had a pop-up in Las Vegas. And nobody knew how to pronounce foie gras, and so it turned into foie gras. A hashtag caught on, and they just ran with it eventually. All right. Um, what, what does the original thing mean? Foie gras, it's uh, basically fat liver. Ugh. All right. Um, it, because they take a duck or a goose's, especially fat duck or goose's liver, and uh, either puree it or just put it right on uh, some food. It's kind of a all the craze with the foodies lately. Well... Past few years. Sick. It's a sick thing to do. It's sick. Well, I mean, we eat all other kinds of meat. Why not the liver? Mm. I guess. It's just a sick uh, idea. Anyway, so this place uh, just opened up recently, so we figured we'd check it out. They have a burger on the menu. Why not? And uh, uh, I knew they were going to be busy. They're the hip new place in town. I went uh, a little before Matthew got there to see how long we'd have to wait for a table. I'm thinking that's crazy, though. When you said, uh, I'm going to go and see how long I'm going to go get us a table, I'm like, this is the old Belle Provence. That's right. This was, a, this like was a Belle Provence, and from the outside, it still basically looks yeah. like the Belle Provence. But, oh, no. They've done a lot of uh, renovations inside. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I asked how long the wait for a table for two was. Uh, 15 minutes. I said about 15 minutes. We got a couple people over here. Having their coffee, so they're, they're they're probably almost done. All right, great, sounds good. About a half hour later, I start yeah. asking this uh, this maitre d. Listen, uh, I see some open spots here. What are we waiting for? Because uh, you said about fifteen minutes. It's been way more than that. And then he looked around the restaurant and uh, said, "Okay, we'll just wipe down this table and give it to you." I don't understand what we were waiting for before then, because there were open <laughs> seats. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess we're getting off topic right off the bat. <laughs> um, so, Matthew, uh, initial impressions of this uh, trendy new restaurant? Uh, the initial impression is uh, I didn't like waiting outside while I saw other people just seemingly walk in and, and be seated or just kind of walk in and sit down anyway. I don't See, know. Now Maybe they should, had I'm pretty sure they had reservations. I, I doubt we were standing right in front of him and he was just seating other people before us but mind you even when i asked him so what's going on here after about a half hour of waiting he seemed confused like well wait what do you want of course uh, i want a table i've been standing out here for a half hour right in front of you uh, but, you know we weren't dressed as nice as some of the other uh, attendees of this i guess some and, some folks were walking in suits and stuff but, um but you know maybe they saw us out there uh waxing uh, uh whatever with this uh this uh gentleman who was trying to sell us a uh, what a, is it, a, like a, a shotgun shell? Yeah, a shotgun shell that was also a lighter. Uh, yeah. His prized possession. It seemed like. I mean, he we were waiting outside, just kind of, you know, wasting the day away. And uh, he approached us with his shotgun shell, showing us. And I'm kind of like, oh, cool. You know, you found that on the, on the ground somewhere or something? But yeah, uh, I'm not that interested. And he asked us if we want to buy it. Neither of us are interested in this old shotgun shell. No. Flips it open. It's a lighter. A little more intriguing. Yeah. But I still don't care that much yeah but you didn't want to let him i mean he was real into that and uh i you know it was impressive he he seemed to love his shotgun shell lighter and he (laughs) didn't seem to really want to part with it but he needed the money uh and you know we sort of said good luck with that yeah now i guess i'm leaving a detail out where he was missing (laughs) all of his front teeth he had one tooth top and bottom he had one tooth yeah how do you how do you how do you lose so many teeth well, crack <laughs> is my first guess. I don't know. I mean, I, that I, or you got in a real, a real fight. Maybe, but like, I think if I was going to start using crack and I lost a tooth, that's that's it. That's when I stop using crack. I've lost a tooth. Yeah, but at that point, 
You're already hooked on crack. I'm hooked on teeth. I've been hooked on teeth since I was a baby. You you make a good point. You make a good point. And teeth, I guess, are more useful than crack. I, yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't. Maybe they're not as fun. But maybe but... he could sell off these adult teeth for crack. Well, I don't know who's. I don't. I don't know if, if they're making the the best currency teeth. Uh, yeah, I don't know but... what the demand is on adult teeth. <laughs> some some some, some weird. Uh... Some weird fetishes out there, though, Sebastian. Do you think? Do you um, think the tooth fairy gives a premium for adult teeth? Because usually the tooth fairy's got a ton of baby teeth. What are mm, baby teeth good for? That's Babies. It. That's it. You make rattles out of that, but that's it. Like adult teeth, you're making some. Hold on, you make rattles <laughs> out of that? Is that a thing that I don't know about? Yeah, yeah you're making the, ba- the the tooth fairies collect your your baby's infant's teeth, and uh, they make little rattles. Is this a horror movie that I haven't seen? No, 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 no. It's just, it's just how uh, like old baby tale. rattles are made. It's all baby's <clears throat> teeth. I will not accept this. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking, but how? Uh, that would be a pretty good uh, drug dealer's name, though. Like if you were a drug dealer known as the Tooth Fairy. Oh, that is a pretty badass. Even if you're not making yeah. money, you're still getting some 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 pretty dope street cred. That's true. You know, it's like a Tooth Fairy. Like he'll he'll give you the, he'll give you what you need, but he's gonna take your teeth. Ooh. It also sounds kind of like a good boxer's name. I wouldn't be surprised if there's been a boxer with the tooth fairy because it'll knock your teeth out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's a, it's definitely a route to take uh, if this doesn't work out. So anyway, foie gras, uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, a French bistro-style restaurant yeah. w- with a twist of a North American casual diner. Um, uh, I mean, the menu seems like a bit of a mix of both. Mm. But the prices are more on the uh, French bistro side, I suppose. Um, you know, they have uh, frog legs and uh, like a fourteen dollar French onion soup. And these are their snacks, aren't they? Yeah, these this is like the entrees and snacks. Yeah, their snacks include like escargot and frog legs and radishes. Radishes. Pretty yeah, I didn't look radishes. too hard on look too too deeply at those radishes. I was like, yeah, they have radishes as a eight dollar snack. I'm okay. Let's move on. Huh. Let me look at this burger section. Yeah. Um, and uh, when they came to take our order for a cheeseburger, uh, the waitress asked, you want some foie gras on that? I do. I guess I do. We're at a place that this is their namesake. I'll go, oh, yeah, I'll go for it. I know it's like $5 more, but yeah, I'll was, go for it. It was $9 more. You know what? You know, <laughs> uh, when in Rome. Yeah, I don't, what did you even... Well, you know, when she asked me that, because I heard her ask you, and I didn't really understand. It was loud in there, and then there was also a word I don't know. Uh, but it was a bunch of words together that I'm not making. I can't figure out what she's saying. I'm assuming you ask for a burger. She asks you a question. You say, oh, yeah, I assumed you just said all dressed. Oh, okay. So when she asked me, uh, I look at her and confidently I'm like, ketchup, mustard, <laughs> uh, some onions. <laughs> Uh, and she just she looked. I was like, "Oh man, maybe I said the wrong thing." And I looked for you. To, I looked to you for a little help, and you did nothing. nothing. Oh, because because I didn't hear. I know really you, what was, you, it was loud enough. That I didn't quite hear what was going on. You had the same issue as me. And then she switched to English and she started explaining everything. And uh, she said, "You know, this is a sauce. The, the burgers come with a sauce. It's a mix of mix of all this stuff: mayonnaise, I think, some some mustard, it's definitely mayonnaise and relish in there." Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, so, yeah, I'll just take that. And then she's like, would you like the foie gras? I looked at the price. I didn't even have to ask what it was. I was like, no, no, that's $9 extra. That's, I would just get a double burger at that point. Yeah, that's true. It but would you be got the it. same price to get a double burger. And what was it? It's it's a piece of liver. Uh, oh, you a, did a tell liver. me that. It's piece a fat liver, liver. Right on top of the burger. Disgusting. It was actually quite quite delicious as a as a burger i would have paid nine dollars for to make sure that was not on my burger <laughs> it seems like an inconvenience and if i had to remove that like i remove a tomato well that'd be removing a nine dollar item off the off the burger be removing a, a duck's uh fat uh, liver yeah but like uh, what is that liver what is the purpose of a liver uh, uh, fil- to filter yeah so you're you're you know you're you're taking the stuff that's filtered before it gets to the bladder um, Why do you want to eat that? Well, I mean, it's, what do you think these fat ducks are, are 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 consuming? Bugs. Yeah, I guess. I guess a lot of bugs. I, I, anyway, anyway, <laughs> it feels all natural. It seems fine. Like yeah, uh, yeah. you know, even if they're not being fed naturally, it it's not like a like a sink drain filter. 
Yeah. Well, it seems like that's kind of the equivalent. Yeah, no, it, it, because it, it gets filtered out. It's not It's not like it all stays there, all the bad stuff. No, you're only eating the good stuff, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Mm. It's, it's a very rich delicacy type of thing. Just because it costs a lot. Yeah, I guess, whatever. Anyway. All right, all right. How, it, it was good. You, you know, liked it? Foodies are loving it acro- around the world, this foie gras. So, yeah. uh, you know, I, I doubt that <laughs> everyone's just started eating real garbage and gone oh so this garbage is fantastic and really caught on i think it's the just a joke the rich are playing on on us normies it uh, could be i mean like uh, have you ever tasted these caviar frog eggs these fish eggs these uh these snails let's get let's get these regular folk to eat it and we'll pretend <laughs> they... <laughs> exactly uh well i feel like you ordered it also because you felt a little bad for ordering such a we ordered such a cheap meal yeah in only we, we uh, you know, and she was asking, well, do you want an entree? Do you want this? Do you want that? I feel like it's kind of a, a you know, a bit of a higher end restaurant. And we got a pretty pedestrian meal, all things considered. <laughs> um, so I felt like she was trying to upsell a little bit. Well, you want yeah. you want to maybe have uh, one of these $14 soups or add uh, $9 of foie gras onto your burger? Uh, you know, any anything else on it as a side? Just french fries? Yeah, okay. All right, and uh, you yeah. know, and I ordered the cheapest beer on the menu just because I already was like, nah, I'll get a beer at least. And then I looked at the menu, I was like, yeah, I kind of want the cheapest one though. That looks good to me right now. Yeah. So you know, it, it still wasn't a cheap meal. I ended up spending more than fifty bucks. So, you know, she yeah, she we, made it. She made a few bucks off. We're of getting this. ahead of ourselves, but you also you know you ordered that dessert. And, and that dessert, I feel like, was a pity dessert because you felt a little didn't bit. Spend still felt bad that we didn't spend enough money. What kind of world is this where I'm feeling bad that I'm not spending enough money at a restaurant? Yeah. It's like I'll order a dessert for you. Yeah, I don't like it. And I'm pretty sure that they thought we were a couple. She did offer one bill at the end. Yeah, the, the whole everything, everything was very couplish. It was it was one of the most romantic places we've ever been to. I think. I mean, you you said that while we were there, mm. and uh, you're you're. The reason why you said that, it would seem, your your evidence for it, was you picked up this little, tiny little, tiny little vase and showed me that there were two flowers in it. Yeah. But one of them was like a a dandelion. It looked like a couple of flowers that they just picked out of the field across the street, you know? No, no botanist. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what flowers uh, mean what in terms of relationships. You know, I think yellow roses mean friendship. Uh, oh, red geez. means passion. Okay. Uh, I guess yellow dandelions would mean friendship, but whatever. It was it was like a, a little flower uh, there too, a little vinegar jar. Uh, but then later on, the lights dimmed a little, and she came and lit a candle for us. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and we did share our dessert. We did. <laughs> we did. I guess it was a pretty romantic dinner. Yeah. You didn't pay for me. No. Kind of a it's cheap, that it's uh, yeah yeah I mean uh, it's that kind of a date. It's still early going where. Uh, you know, we're, we're dating, but we're not, uh, I'm not paying for your meal. Who knows if I'm really willing to invest in this relationship yet. Yeah. And you're a, you know, you're a man of means. You can take care of yourself. Yeah, I guess. You still owe me $1.50. I do haven't I? forgotten. Oh, yeah, I do, eh? Yeah, for that, because uh, we, <laughs> we split our desserts. Let's not get into the desserts just yet. Right. Let's save the desserts for later. So, Matthew... Uh, yes. When we got that burger, even when I, uh, before we even visited, I saw a picture of their burger online. Okay. And I thought, oh boy, Matthew's not going to like this burger because the picture I saw online, the burger was sitting in a, a very, very shallow pool of juices. I know that's not up your alley. So Matthew, what was what was your initial reaction when uh, they set that burger down in front of you? I set the stage here a little bit. I want to give everybody uh, at home listening an idea of what I was wearing. <laughs> um, a real low cut dress. That's <laughs> <laughs> am I the lady uh, of this? Um, no, I whatever jeans. It's all normal. Uh, but I was wearing a sweater. Mm-hmm. And normally, one of my rules. I don't know if I've said this before, but I don't want to eat a. Uh, I don't want to eat while I'm wearing a sweater. I think you did mention not. this in an early episode. Maybe it's something to do with breakfast and a sweater. But specifically, anyway. not anything with syrup. But you know. 